Hello. So far we have only looked at um, how we can run Python code in parallel um, to make it run faster or to execute more efficiently. But there are also different ways of how you can get your Python code to run yeah, faster. Um, and now I want to talk about how you can compile your Python code into um, yeah, a more efficient language such as C for example. And um, yeah, how different libraries allow you to um, leverage more speed from the same bit of code with just adding one decorator, which is um, yeah the usual case uh, with these libraries that you just have to add one decorator to a function and all of a sudden they go a lot faster. Okay, so first of all, I want to talk about number and number is a library that offers a just-in-time compiler that will translate your Python code um, into C code. And um, yeah, you don't really have to do much for that. You just have to add the decorator, as I said. And um, yeah, that will allow you to run your code much more efficiently. And number even has um, yeah some special tools built into it uh, to deal with NumPy. So um, yeah, the NumPy functions will get even faster uh, even though NumPy already is quite efficient. Okay, so first of all, let's um, yeah try um, try this example out without any uh, performance boosting. Um, this go slow function here is just normal NumPy code. Um, it computes the trace of a matrix and then adds the trace to this yeah matrix and then returns the result and. Um, if we run this, we can see yeah, we get a matrix with the trace of the matrix added um, to the matrix. And um, now how can we make this faster? Um, when we use number, we usually just import this JIT um, yeah, function from, from number. And JIT, as I said, stands for just in time. And um, this will compile the function just in time so um, it will only compile it when you call the function. And this is also why the first call to this function, uh, go fast, will be a bit slower. But then uh, the result, the, the calls after that will be um, yeah, a lot quicker than uh, the normal Python code. And also then the first call here. Okay, so as you can see, the only thing that was changed is that we added this at JIT, no Python equals true. And uh, using this decorator, we can tell Python that it should first um, yeah, run this decorator code with this function inside. And um, using this extra parameter, no Python equals true, we specify to number that we want to use um, the no Python backend. And this is just a backend that tries to compile as, as much of the code, uh, as much of the Python code as possible, and therefore make it um, ex as fast as possible. So if we run this, um, basically nothing happens. Um, okay, something did happen. Uh, the kernel died. Um, yeah, there is a thing that you can't execute um, the same bit of code twice. Uh, with this JIT command, and if you do that, the kernel dies, and I'm not sure exactly sure why, but that happens. Um, but the kernel has restarted now, so if I run this now, yeah, now it works. Um, I had executed that code before, and I didn't restart the kernel, so yeah, the kernel died when I ran this code again. But now uh, we have to find this go fast function, and it um, has this JIT dec decorator, but it has not been compiled yet. So um, the next cell will run this go fast function. And as I said, the first call to it will take a bit longer. And to measure how much longer, we will time the first call here. And um, we'll use this A range uh, with 10,000 numbers, and then just reshape that to 100 by 100 matrix. So let's see how long this takes. And this took um, yeah, 341 milliseconds, um, or, or in total, um, 
including the system time it took 354 milliseconds um, and this is already quite fast but uh, yeah let's see how um, long the normal Python uh, the normal NumPy code takes without the compilation um, this takes 417 microseconds so yeah this is a lot faster than what we've seen here um, so why is this as I said um, the first call to this go fast function will compile the code to C and this just takes a while and this is why the first call here took so much longer but now if we run this go fast after we've compiled it we should see uh, that we get a big increase in uh, speed and indeed we get this so now it only takes 9.5 uh, microseconds to to run this function which is a huge improvement uh, on this 417 microseconds that we had before okay and then finally just a quick note um, there are more um, number uh, tutorial um, notebooks that we have here so if you're interested in how you can use this just-in-time compiler uh, together with number you can have a look at these uh, three notebooks here they're on github in the number directory uh, inside the week 13 uh, folder and here are just some more examples and explanations of what you can do with um, number and the just-in-time compiler and uh, yeah just some more in-depth um, yeah, information that you might find interesting if you want to compile your code to um, C code.